Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the five most frequently used shortcut keys in Xcode. So guys, without any further ado, let's get started with the very first one on our list, which is Command Shift O. Yes. So guys, if, suppose if you are looking for a particular file or a method which you have forgotten and you just want to simply navigate to it right away without using the project navigator. So what you can just do is to just hit Command Shift O and there will be this search box right here in front of you where you can just write the name of the file which you are looking for. Suppose you are looking for the scene delegate. So I have written scene and here I can see the scene delegate right, right away. And if I hit the return key, so there we go with the scene delegate. We have just, uh, you know, navigated to scene delegate now. So that's how you can use command shift O to directly navigate to a particular file. And if you if suppose you are looking for a particular function, you can also do that by using the same short key. So guys, let's talk about the next short key on our list, which is command one slash two slash three. So how you can use that? So suppose I hit command four. So it takes us directly to the, you know, uh, find navigator where you can just find anything globally on your project. So if suppose I'm looking for application keyword, wherever it is written in my complete project, I can just write application and hit enter. And there you will be able to see that I have all the results related to the keyword application. Suppose I write controller right here. So you would see all the results which are having controller in it. It works globally on the project. So if you are looking for a particular key to change to uh, or wherever you have used, you want to know that you just can write the, write the particular keyword right here and you will be able to see all the results. In the same way, you can also use command one to directly go back to your project navigator. In case you want to go to your, you know, remote repository, wherever your branches are. So you can just rightly hit command two. And now you can see that you have your Git repo or your source control right away. And you can just uh, see all your branches right here. So generally what we do is we need to click on these things and these short keys make it a bit easier to you know navigate right away in your project wherever you want. So the third one on our list guys is command L. So I hope you might have some idea about command L. Suppose we have a particular file suppose in which we have almost more than 1000 lines of code and now your teammate tells you that bro i am having a difficulty while merging and the conflict is coming on line number uh, suppose 1002 so maybe you will not be able to just directly you know navigate to the particular line number if you go by scrolling it but what you can do right away with the command l you can just write the line number and you will directly navigate it to that particular line suppose i write 72 right here and hit enter you will see that we have just navigated to our 72 line number so guys, the next one on our list is very frequently used uh, short key, which is control I. So what you might have observed if you have worked in iOS, you know, around one or two years that having a clean code is very important and clean code uh, contains a particular parameter called code indentation. So if you don't do not indent your code properly, the other person who is looking uh, after your code would not be able to, you know, uh, understand it in a much easier manner. So what you can do to make your code much cleaner, just select the chunk of code that you have written just now. Suppose I have written this function right now and I have not just given it a uh, correct indentation suppose. So what I can do just uh, select this function completely and hit control plus I. So it will indent the code accordingly. All right, suppose you are looking for indenting the code to some uh, right shift or left shift. So what you can do for that you can just select the particular code that you want to right shift or left shift. Now just press command and left square bracket to shift it in the left uh, direction. And you can use right square bracket to shift your code to, uh, you know, you can, I have just further used that right uh, square bracket to uh, move it further in the right direction. But uh, what I would recommend if you are having a single file, suppose this class which we have here is a view controller class. So what you should do is, Use the command, command A to select all the code, then press the key control I to indent overall, you know, class so that the indentation matches and aligns with each other. So that's how we do it. So the last one and as a bonus one, I have included this uh, short key, which is command N. So guys, what happened is if you have created a new 
Xcode project, the first thing that we do is to, you know, make more controllers to, uh, you know, align the flow of that particular application. So what you need to do is to add particular files, right? Swift files. So for, for that you need to do, you, you have to go to file and just click on new and then select file, then Swift file and all of that stuff. So what you can do, just right away, press command N and this, uh, you know, kind of sheet will open to select which kind of file you want to include in your Xcode project. So guys, that's all for this video. If you like this video, please do hit the like button down below and also comment down below which all short key do you actually use in your Xcode project. I would love to know about that. And also if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell as well so that every time I upload a new video, you get to know about it right away. So guys, that's all for now. See you in the next one. Jai Hind.